Anywho, that was a clip from Vampire in Brooklyn. Now, if you saw the clip, that means YouTube let it go through. If not, that means I was flagged. The reason why I always say this before my videos is because, you know, YouTube, they straight done copyright. And um, so that's why I say that. Some shit they'll let go through and some they won't. But anyway, this is 25 Facts on Behind the Scenes of the Film, A Vampire in Brooklyn. The 90s were a strange time for Hollywood films. Subsequently finishing up his involvement with the Nightmare on Elm Street series, but before Scream, Wes Craven directed a romantic vampire comedy starring Eddie Murphy. Number one. In addition to starring in the film, Eddie Murphy also produced and directed it. Number two. As a producer, Eddie sought out Wes Craven to direct as he was a fan of his horror films. Number three. Eddie's original goal was to play the vampire role more seriously and sympathetic. However, Wes Craven and Paramount Pictures wanted a more comedic tone. Number four, according to Eddie, he only agreed to do the film in exchange for Paramount Pictures giving him the rights to the Nutty Professor. Number five, it wound up being his last movie with the studio as the Nutty Professor was distributed by Universal one year later. Number six, Eddie Murphy wanted Jada Pinkett Smith to play the role of Rita, but she turned it down. The two will work together soon after on The Nutty Professor. Number seven, Angela Bassett's stunt double, Cyan Davis, tragically passed away during a stunt gone horribly wrong in the movie. Cyan was to perform a 40-foot backwards fall off a building when the inflatable stunt bag was slightly moved and that would prove to be fatal. Number eight. Cyan Davis's family filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Paramount and Eddie Murphy's production company, alleging that proper safety protocols weren't met and that Cyan herself was hesitant about doing the stunt. Number nine, eventually, California's division of OSHA issued four citations to Paramount and fined them $29,000. However, the plaintiff in the wrongful death suit passed away in 1996, and there's no information about the case after that, presumably it was later dropped. Number 10, despite the title, only three out of the 55 days of shooting were done in New York City. The rest was done in Los Angeles. Number 11, a few cast and crew pointed out Eddie's odd behavior on set, including never coming to shooting. Eddie allegedly gave an Irish goodbye and just rolled off in a limo when there were still several hours left of filming. Number 15, Vampire in Brooklyn was the final film appearance for Ray Combs, who passed away eight months after its release. I didn't even know that he played in that film. Um, I haven't seen the movie in a long time, but I was a little shocked at that. Anyway, number 16, the film grossed $19.8 million on a $14 million budget. While it wasn't a flop by any means, it was considered a disappointment and a failure by Paramount, especially considering Eddie's star power and Wes Craven's name recognition and horror. Number 17, it also came out to a slew of negative reviews, receiving only one out of four stars from Roger Ebert. Number 18, even now, it holds a 12% tomato meter rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 19. In the years since, many critics have reassessed the film as a cult classic. Number 20. Eddie Murphy blames the film's failure on his long wig, which he felt people were repulsed by. Number 21. The wig itself proved to be very troublesome, as they had a hard time not seeing Eddie's hairline during close-up shots. Today, it will be easy to remove via CGI, but in 1995, it was impossible. Number 22, Wes Craven puts the blame on Eddie Murphy, whom he says was difficult to work with. Number 23, only two months later, in December 1995, another vampire comedy was released, Dracula, Dead and Loving It, which was also a flop critically and financially. Number 24, it remains of two movies to feature the word vampire in it, in a New York City borough in its title. The other being 2020's Vampire vs. the Bronx. Okay, y'all, I know I said 25 facts. It's really 24 because one I felt wasn't significant. It was stupid. So I didn't add it in there. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.